Is the degree GMC accredited? Yes, Denver Medical Institute is listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools. A degree from this university allows you to apply for registration in the UK, GMC accredited, Australia, AMC accredited, Europe, USA and many other countries. From 4th to 6th year, does it mainly cover practical lessons in the hospital? From 4th year onwards, clinical years begin. Years 4 to 6 should build on the foundation of knowledge and skills acquired during the pre-clinical years, which are years 1 to 3. There are several disciplines to cover during these years. The discipline lasts approximately 1 to 2.5 weeks per subject. Most of the teaching will be held in the hospital. The practical depends on the patient availability as well as your speaking level of Russian. Therefore, only some disciplines include practical hours. However, simulation rooms are available to book, practice and learn from. Also, there will be multiple workshops throughout the year which aim to assist in expanding your medical knowledge. The SU plans to host a BLS, ILS, ALS, venue puncturing and suturing workshop amongst many others. Extra lecturers have also been hired to further support the graduate entry students by filling possible gaps in their knowledge, as well as a clinical lecturer to assist in preparing you for your OSCEs and clinical practices. How is the course in general? Overall, the course requires a lot of self-study, hard work and determination. The quality of education is different than those received in the UK universities. However, the good thing is that once you completed your studies and graduate, you can successfully practice back in the UK. You can expect to have some form of language barrier, especially when interacting with patients. However, with the teacher's guidance and support, it will all be okay. Also, there will be a Russian teaching class with the sole intention of improving overall level and understanding of the Russian language, which will provide you with the ability on how to interact with patients in a clinical setting. When will the university be opened? The university opens on the 15th of September 2020. What is the structure for the summative exams and how many attempts are permitted? CROC is in a licensing examination. Students who are preparing for the specialities medicine, dentistry and pharmacy must pass two separate exams, that being CROC 1 and CROC 2. The first examination, CROC 1, consists of bi basic biomedical sciences. The second, CROC 2, consists of basic professional orientated disciplines. CROC 1. In the examination, questions are given in the MCQ format and consists of 200 MCQs. The total duration of CROC 1 is 3 hours and 20 minutes. The, criter the criterion pass or fail is established at a level of 60.5% by the testing centre. CROC 2 exam is given by the medical students of the Ukraine after completing their sixth and final year. The exam provides license to foreign medical students. The examination is given in the MCQ format and consists of 200 MCQs. The time for the exam is 3 hours and 20 minutes and the criterion of pass or fail is established at 60.5% by the testing centre. Do we need to learn Russian, Ukrainian or both? The official language spoken in Ukraine is Ukrainian, as well as 30% of the population speaking Russian. However, majority of the people in Dnipro speak Russian, so it's highly recommended that you learn Russian, Ukrainian or both. What is the process for the enrollment? Is it going to be online or do we have to fly to Dnipro to enroll? Enrollment for the 2020-2021 academic year will take place on campus at the Dean's office in Dnipro. How long will the online learning last? Due to the pandemic, DMI has decided that practical classes, which are usually in smaller groups, will be held in person, whilst lectures will be held online. DMI will inform you of any changes through MedLink should this change occur. How safe do you feel in Dnipro? Dnipro is a fairly safe city. However, as any city, you should always remain vigilant and stay safe. For example, don't walk alone at night in isolated areas. But, it, but overall, Dnipro is a relatively safe city. What is the attendance percentage required to be allowed to sit the exams? In case of a lack of attendance, what are the possible consequences? It is highly recommended that you attend all your lectures and practicals. Any missed practical classes will have to be reworked by visiting the Dean's office to explain the reason for your absence. A small fee may be charged if your absence isn't justified. You'll be given a slip from the Dean's office to be handed to your corresponding lecturer who will amend your attendance. If any tests were missed as a result of an absence, these can be reworked by arranging a suitable time with your lecturer. 
Do you have any advice before arrival? Download a Google Translator. Learn a few Russian words such as please, thank you, and can I have. The locals are more forthcoming when you try to speak their language. Apps such as Duolingo are a great starting point. Brush up on your general medical knowledge, such as anatomy, because the work starts pretty much from day one and it is advised to be prepared. You can ask Medlink to get in contact with other students prior to your arrival so that you can make friends in Dnipro before you arrive. Bring clothes for all weather conditions. Ukraine have very intense winters reaching a low of negative 15 degrees, as well as very hot summers, which range between 30 to 35 degrees, so pack accordingly. There are plenty of shops for kitchen, homeware and bedding. So unless it is necessary, don't pack and bulk up your luggage as you can get these items here, often for a lot cheaper than you would back home. However, electronics are slightly more expensive. What is the public transportation like? Public transport is very easy and very cheap to use. Uber is, Uber is widely used in the Ukraine as well as Uklon, which is their version of Uber. Simply Google your destination and it will show you what trams or buses to get on and what stops to get off at. How much would the expenses roughly add up to per month? In terms of monthly expenses, it's dependent on the individual and their circumstances. Generally, accommodation can range between 300 to 400 pounds per month, including utilities. The rest depends on food expenses, extracurricular activities, additional classes and other maintenance that can result in an overall monthly expense of between 500 to 600 pounds per month. However, this can be lowered depending on your circumstances. Will the first two year modules, mainly anatomy, physiology and biochemistry, be covered during the third year or do we have to study them on our own? It is ideal to, it is ideal to prepare for subjects such as anatomy and physiology before starting as these modules are not covered in third year. The first two year modules are foundation knowledge which is built upon throughout the following years. So it is ideal to have prior knowledge to this before coming into the third year programme. Is there a possibility to continue studying or transfer to the UK after the first year with DMI? No, it is not possible to transfer to a UK university from the Dnipro Medical Institute. This is the same for any other European university. When does the graduate entry students have to sit for CROC 1 and CROC 2? Are there any other international medical tests required to be completed before graduation? Graduate entry students will sit the CROC 1 at the end of their third year, or if they are entering into their fourth year, they will sit it then. CROC 2 is sat at the end of your sixth year. However, depending on the individual circumstances and where they wish to practice one day, tests such as Step 1 and Step 2 or IFOM will be required.